Dubliner Vera Wade first came up with the idea for Girls' Night In five years ago, but was only able to get the product off the ground in the last 24 months. Since then, things have really started to take off. But Vera says she still needs another €50,000 to help get the company to the next level. Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Vera Wade. I'm here today to offer 15% equity of my company Girls' Night In and GNI uh, for an investment of €50,000. Imagine the scene. Relaxed lighting, cosy bathrobes, warm flowing chocolate with strawberry dips, complimentary cocktail and menu on arrival. You may be led to believe that this is an advertisement for a fantastic break in a gorgeous hotel, but you would be mistaken. This is just one package that you can avail of with Girls Night In and GNI in the comfort of your own home. The staying in is now the new going out. Whether you choose one of our Girls Night In hen night packages, you choose our salsa night in, our pole dance night in, night in. Uh, we have our sweet 16 birthday parties. The, 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 the menu is endless. Whichever one you do choose, you will have an experience to remember and one you will want to experience again. Thank you for your time and now if you have any questions. Girls Night In seems to encompass a wide and varied range of features, but there's one aspect of Vera's business that seems to be of particular interest to Bobby Kerr. Hello Vera. Hi, how are My you? My name is Bobby. Hi Bobby. Tell me more about the pole dancing now. <laughs> if you uh, want to give it a try, uh, we can organise it, there's no it problem. <laughs> we have very long poles. <laughs> but no, this is just one package that we are getting major inquiries about. We do have it on our website as, as an offered package and we're going to get more, more um, feedback and parties from this. What has been running for the last two years is our pamper nights um, and is our salsa nights in and our GNI guys which is your own personal waiter to meet and greet your guests with our gorgeous cocktail. Uh, sent them with our bathrobe, their menu, and it's about feeling great and being treated like a queen. Okay, how much do I pay you? Okay. How many people will come? Sure, the basic um, cost price would be on average 350 euro, usually around six ladies at the party. We do bring the chocolate fountain, the strawberries, the marshmallows, the lighting, the bathrooms, the whole, whole package. The ladies get this included in the price and they get their complimentary first drink. They get their menu, they get a choice of two treatments from the menu. Um, and they are based on, they are told in advance, they are mini treatments. This is listed on the website as well. So they're not expecting their full workout massage and for an hour. It's all about in the one space, having the crack, having the banter. Uh, while Mary is getting her facial done, she's been fed by the, this gorgeous guy by the chocolate fountain. And Louise is kind of the foot in the beer, getting the, getting the pedicure done. It's about fun with friends. Vera clearly believes her product is something that will appeal to women's lighter side. Unfortunately, having a lighter side isn't something our female dragon is particularly noted for. What are your sales over the last two years? Okay, the first year, um, I did a turnover of just over uh, 31,000. Um, the outlay was roughly around just over 23, and the net profit of that was just over seven. What was year two? Year two. This year, it's shown to be 120,000 turnover. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, profit margin on that has worked at 48,000. Okay. Yeah. And what do you want my 50,000 euros for? Oh, God. Uh, it's endless. <laughs> but basically what I would do with the 50,000 is I've decided 35,000 would go into um, putting the packages together. Not just putting them together, but putting them together in a way that this should be going nationwide. This shouldn't be just confined to Dublin. <coughs> also, a percentage of it would go to um, the protection of the trademark. This, to me, is really, really important. You know, there are people using it at the moment that have no right to use it because I actually have a trademark under five different classes, both in the UK, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and the South of Ireland. Um, so um, the, that protection of the trademark and um, the branding of the product. To me, again, this is a big thing. I'm, I'm big on, you know, first impressions. As far as first impressions go, Vera seems to be making a good one. And with the fiscal projections out of the way, Gavin Duffy decides to make an inquiry about the company's employment policy. Hi, Vera. I'm Gavin. Hi, uh, Gavin. How are you? Vera, would my very good friend Sean uh, be considered for a GNI guy? No. <laughs> Why? Why pretend? No. I can't judge Show you with a jacket and a shirt on. Oh, you know, hold on a second, look, look at them. It, usually, if you have to interview for a G and I guy, you have to show a lot more than than just a blue shirt and a jacket. Even though you do you, look very. You mean well. I would have to take more off? You if you want the job of a G and I guy, you know that's. The What's wrong with that for a physique for a G and I guy? Would I actually have had 
you know, I, I was going to say old man. Age. Age. <laughs> I'm not remembering his age. I actually have yeah, a mature, mature man ringing Mature man, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the first uh, entrepreneur <laughs> to leave me totally dumbstruck. <laughs> Along with the tongue-tied Mr. Gallagher, the dragon seemed to be warming to Vera's pitch. But Nilo Farrell has a serious point to make about potential staffing problems. As you build this business mm -hmm. and this brand around Dublin and around the country, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know, into some sort of a franchised operation or, or some, do, do, you're surely going to risk losing the talent of some of your better girls or managers. Um, to do we, their own thing, to, yeah. you know, or, oh, no, or, I agree. Or not, yeah. I agree. And um, I, the way I looked on it is at the very beginning, I remember the very beginning, I had one staff member, there's always one, yeah. and loyalty, oh my sure. God, and went out doing children's parties. Mm -hmm. And it took me two hours, I must say, I'm being honest, I sat there and I cried and went, oh my God, how could she? Da, da, yeah. da. You know, typical. Sure. And then I went, what the hell? She can't do it the way I'm doing it. I'm me. Okay. I know what I'm doing. What and, happens if you know, I invest in you and then we lose you? How would you lose me? Yeah, this is my baby. Yeah, okay. This is, you can't, you know, you lose me, you lose Girls Night In, and Girls Night In is going nowhere except up. Okay. You know, you can't, that's not in the equation whatsoever. Vera, I, I see this very much as a sort of a, a fun business, um, a mixture of sort of like the old Tupperware type party, stroke lingerie party, um, and it's also not a business, I think, that I would have a huge passion to dedicate a, a lot of time to. The fact you didn't want me as GNI uh, I knew there was guy something didn't, I'd do wrong. didn't help your case, so I'm going to declare myself. No problem. Out. I appreciate your info. Thanks very much. John's rejection as a super hunk may not have been the decisive factor in his decision to withdraw, but whatever his reasons, Vera must be nervous. His exit will spark even more. I see you as a passionate party organiser. I don't see a scalability in this business where it could be franchised and grown for the type of uh, growth that an investor would look for in return. So for that reason, uh, I'm out. Okay, no problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. Vera, I've listened to um, your presentation and it's just not a space that I'm remotely interested in, but okay. good luck. Thank you very much. I think you might be better served to maybe share the equity with some like-minded person who appreciates and is as passionate as you can be about this business. But I don't see it being a, a business that I'd like to invest in. I wish you well. Thank you I'm very out. much. Thank you. And so with four dragons out of the game, it all comes down to one man. Has Niall O'Farrell seen something the others have missed? With her investment hanging in the balance, Vera anxiously awaits his verdict. You don't need me. You don't need anyone. I think you're as good as any dragon. Thank you. And I think it's just you will grow this business as fast as you can get good girls and train them up. Working. I think the name is great, Girls Night In. Super. Well done. Thank you for coming to the den. I appreciate your time. Thank I'm you very out. much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Vera. So Vera leaves without the investment she wanted, but it seems that Sean has found a way to rationalise his disappointment. Could be one of those G&I guys torn to shreds some night with a batch of wild <laughs> women. That'll put an end to the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you.